What's up gamers? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do the difficult quest of upgrading your Pura pad in the game. We're gonna be unlocking Sensor Plus, Hero's Path, and three travel medallions, and I'm gonna show you how simple it is. Let's go. Before we move on, let me tell you about the prerequisites that you have to do in order to get to this quest line. First, you have to get your paraglider. The second part is you have to go down to the depths. Basically, it's the quest where Joshua sends you to go find Robbie, who is down in the depths looking for a statue. Once you get down there, you're going to activate the light routes, and then you're going to talk to Robbie. Robbie will then give you access to the camera that you're going to use to take a picture of a statue. After you take that picture of a statue and return back to Lookout Landing, that's when you're going to turn in this quest and you're going to find yourself in the scenario where Robbie's going to do his own thing after and Josh is going to do her own thing in her corner. And it's not going to move until then. Well, here's how to exactly move it. The first thing that you want to do is go ahead and open up the quest that says the strange phenomena. What you want to do is pick any one of the temples slash dungeons to do in those areas. Once you complete your temple, then you're going to teleport back to Lookout Landing. When you arrive in Lookout Landing, you'll know that the quest has progressed because when you come down from the Skyview Tower, you'll see that there are people in front of Jasha right outside of the area previously. And uh, mm. basically just introduce Toro and another ring quest. So just pay attention to this because this is probably going to be another mission we'll talk about in another video. <laughs> basically, Toro is not going to be the one who's going to do her research and you're going to be the one that she's going to be relying on because Taro is going to be involved in some Zonai research stuff. After Taro goes away, you're going to walk over to where Joshua tells you to go look at this giant stone tablet on the wall. She's going to be talking about this temple. Basically, this temple is saying that you have to be in the depths and follow these statues until you reach a temple. This temple is basically the central mine that exists underneath the ground. But don't worry, there's one big temple that everyone should remember from Breath of the Wild if you have played that game. But this is going to be in the Great Plateau, the Temple of Time. Right underneath the Temple of Time in the depths is going to be the Central Mine. And this is exactly the place that you need to go. So all you need to do is find a chasm that is closer towards the Temple of Time. Drop down there and you'll be able to go find it. Now, when you're at this temple, you have to climb up and make sure you can see this green glowing up Zonai contraption. Basically, what you're going to have to do is unlock the ability Auto Build. When you have the ability auto build unlocked, it'll show up. You'll have a little cutscene where Link will unlock the ability. You don't have to proceed with the further quest of rebuilding these people's machines and test it out down here. You can skip that. That's a whole entire different quest line. So once you get it, you can just leave that area. Now, once you get auto build and return back to Joshua, she will then progress the quest further. But if you watch my video and you did auto build as soon as you start the game, well, then Joshua's just going to react very differently and be like, what? You already got auto build? Joshua will then hand you a schema stone that is basically going to be the schematic for a hot air balloon. Now there's a hot air balloon right outside this area and basically she's going to tell you to use it and put it in action. So head over to that, click your auto build, select the schematic, and once the balloon is built, Robbie will react and be like, what? You built it? This is crazy. And then at that point, this is when Robbie will finally progress to the point of helping you start to upgrade your Pura pad. So when you talk to Robbie, he's going to say, follow me, would you? He's going to head over to the balloon. You're going to talk to him once he arrives there. And Robbie's basically going to say that he's going to return to the Pura pad laboratory in Hatino village. And he mentions that he can make improvements to your Pura pad, starting with the sensor. Then he'll be waiting in Hatino village. So after this, you are going to want to make your way over to Hatino village. When you open up your map, the closest Skyview tower to the area will be Mount Lineru. The closest shrine to that location is Zanmik Shrine. If you want the exact coordinates of where I am, always make sure to check my video at any time at the bottom right and write down these coordinates for yourself, just so you know if you're in the correct area or not. Hey, real quick, you should hit that subscribe button so that Link can get all the way to the end and we can beat Ganondorf at 500k. Once you arrive at Hatino Village, you're going to want to make your way all the way up to that lab at the top of the hill. When you're getting close, you'll see some hot air balloon on the side and you'll be at the laboratory. Just go ahead straight into it and open up the door. You'll find Robbie there welcoming you. So go ahead and hand Robbie your Pura pad. And when you hand him your Pura pad, he's going to upgrade your sensor so that it can now react when you are close to shrines. So anytime you approach a shrine, it'll beep. And he tells you to test this out with him. So just walk really slowly in the room. Otherwise, if you walk too far or too fast, he's going to be like, where are you going? You got to do it again. So just 
walk really slow. And he says, oh, what's this? It reacted to something. So then what you're going to have to do to progress this is go ahead and find the shrine that he's talking about on your sensor. So go ahead, open up the door, and the shrine's not going to be too far from here. Come over here to this hill and drop down. You're then going to notice a wall right over here that looks like you can explode it or break it, depending on whatever you want to do here. I'm going to go ahead and go for the explosion option by selecting a... That was a wrong arrow. Let me, let me, let me do that again. I, I don't think I have bomb arrows. So I'm going to go hit the thing. All right. If you need to break the cave, go ahead and just fuse a rock, which is right outside of the area with whatever you have. Rocks will break rocks. And then I break open the cave entrance. And then I walk down in here, got the discovery to the Retsum Forest Cave. And what you have to do basically is just get to the point where you have to activate the cave. Make sure to get this frog while you're here because you need these, these gems to buy stuff later from a special shop. So just take out that frog real quick. Then just go to the shrine and activate it. You do not have to go into the shrine to complete the quest. As soon as you activate it, you're going to have to head back to Hatino Village Research Lab. Once you turn in the quest to Robbie from the shrine, you're then going to be presented with three options of what you want to upgrade. We're going to first select Sensor Plus. This one's going to be really simple. All you have to do is go out and take pictures of five different monsters. That's it. There's enemies everywhere, so just go ahead, snap that real quick. Or if you were very good at taking pictures already from the start of the game, well, then you can just talk to him and then you will get Sensor Plus. Now, what Sensor Plus does is allow you to select any image from your compendium and select it. So instead of looking for shrines, you're going to be looking for the whatever you have selected. A big pro tip that you should do when you have this is turn it on so you can spot treasure chest. Take a picture of a treasure chest. That way, when you're exploring any kind of cave or you're anywhere exploring in the depths, you'll be always notified of a treasure chest. Those treasure chests may contain some armor or some really good loot. So I suggest you immediately do that as soon as you unlock Sensor Plus. Next up on the list is Hero's Path Mode. To unlock this, all you have to do is just have 15 shrine locations logged in your game. Usually by now, most of us have 15 shrines already done, so it's going to be pretty simple just to go ahead and submit that quest in. Once you do that, you'll get Hero's Path Mode. It basically shows you the pathway that you took in the game. It shows you exactly where you teleport, where you die, where you walk. So it's a good way to trace the most optimal path maybe to beating this game. And I know a lot of people are going to utilize this very well to show their most efficient path. So if you're into that, you can go ahead and use that. I'm not really big into that, but maybe I'm going to try to find a way to use that properly very soon. When you accept the Traveler's Medallion quest from Robbie, he'll activate a teleport point outside your map. Now, in order to get the Traveler's Medallion, you're going to have to go all the way up north and follow what he says about finding out where he left his prototype in a lab. So go all the way up by the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. This is going to be up here. And the closest shrine to that location is Jochi Iu Shrine. I'm having such a hard time saying these names of shrines, but I think I got it. Let me know how you're struggling with these shrine names too. So keep going up straight from the shrine to the ancient tech lab. Once you finally arrive at the door, you're going to knock on it and you're going to see somebody says, it's Link, get ready for battle. You're then going to fight two Yiga clan members, one really strong buff one and one really easy one to nuke. They're, it's not such a crazy fight, so just go ahead and take them out. After you take them out, go inside. You're going to see someone buy a, a piece of armor and then you're going to see a chest to the right. Open up that chest because that is part of the quest. That is going to give you the Traveler's Medallion prototype. This is the final thing that Robbie needs in order for you to complete all of his quests. But while you're here, also make sure to take a picture of this interesting Yiga Clan photo and uh, mark that up on your map. Just keep that with you. You got a nice photo. Also, while you're here, make sure to grab that armor over there. That is the Yiga armor. You need to keep that because that is a good piece that does stealth and Maybe if you have all the pieces of this armor, you'll be able to access places later on in the game. But don't worry, we're going to be covering that in another video as well. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. After that, return back to Robbie at the Hatino Ancient Tech Lab. When you talk to Robbie, he will hand you the first travel medallion. But we're not done here because Robbie also gives you more Travis Medallion. And here's what you have to do. If you have 10 map data locations, basically if you have done 10 Skyview Towers, well, then you're going to be getting another Traveler's Medallion. And if you have 15 map locations, which is basically all 15 Skyview Towers, then you'll get the third Traveler Medallion. I also have a video talking about all the Skyview Towers if you haven't completed that. And with three Traveler Medallions, that's going to allow you to place three instant teleport spots anywhere on your map 
that you can go to at any time. A great use for the travel medallions is if you're in a high location or somewhere that you don't have a shrine to quickly teleport to, drop down a traveler's medallion so that if you make a mistake, you can teleport right back to that spot. I have my traveler's medallion in a spot that I can actually go ahead and farm silver lionels at any time I want. So it's a pretty cool place where I am. Now that you've unlocked all the upgrades for your Pura pet and got travel medallions, you're gonna also need to do this. So click on this video.